Hello everyone, I'm going to show everybody how you use MindTap as a compiler. Um, you can do this in any web browser, Safari, Firefox, or um, Edge, or you know um, any platform. So it doesn't matter if you're using a Mac or a PC, okay? So you're logged into eCampus right now, you go to Lab and Homework, <coughs> in our, and then you click on uh, Lab 2, Basic Elements of C++, and of course, I hopefully you completed the uh, chapter two or unit two exercise and test. Then you come down here on the program exercise. Uh, these first three, just to, just from clarification, uh, this is going to be count as five points each. Five points for the exercise, five points for the test. In the program exercise, all it's this is uh, two dash three is ten points. Two dash six is ten points. Two dash eight is ten uh, ten points. But I have also created a folder for you to practice your um, Chapter 2 program exercise to 9, okay? So uh, this will not count as a grade. So if you can please follow along on what we're doing here with it as well. So you, know, you need to go in uh, into Chapter 2 program exercise 9. <coughs> um, so it's loading. Make sure you disable the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the course um, uh, with it. Um, Boy, shoot, hold on a second. So once you are in recording with this right now, um, oh, no, recording right now, wait a minute, it says once you started uh, to click on this link right here, uh, program exercise 29, click on start now. <clears throat> I'm going to maximize this so you can see this a little better with it. This few things. So uh, this is going to be your IDE. This is, remember, the, your main CPP is the name of the file. You don't have to do any visual basic um, compiler at all. This is your compiler. So if you click on the instruction in this problem, it says write a program that prompts the user to enter five test scores and then print the average of the test scores, assuming that the test scores are in decimals with it. So uh, we're going to use like doubles and floats. That's what that means as a decimal with it. And you're going to prompt the user basically to enter five test scores with it. So, uh, <clears throat> and you can come down here and you can see how this I call is the skeleton, what you can actually do with it. Matter of fact, you can go in here on the top of this and put in comments like this, for example. You can still go in and put in your comments, your name, goes here and forward slash forward slash one means it's a comment with it so uh, put the course number 1436 whatever section that you have goes here and then the last one is just a you know chapter 2 dash chapter 2 program exercise 2 dash 9 okay so you can give a description of what it looks like with it in the book with it as well. So that's what it looks like right now. Now let's let's get moving on this thing. So um, pound include IO stream means you're including a header file. There's an input output stream meaning reading input output. Using namespace std allows you to use statements as C in, C out, in line. Okay. So write your statement here. So here's what we need to do. I'm not gonna I'm gonna walk you through this. So we need to prompt the user, see out, that's called the, your insertion extract operator, stream insertion operator. You're going to prompt, put in a quote, you're going to say, please input five test scores separated by a space. Okay, and you put a little spacer, move your cursor on the other side of that. Of that. You can do, um, it's still blinking right now, so you can do either have it end right here, and then you can do a CN. Okay, now before you can actually do a CN, you have to actually declare some variables here with it. And they tell you ahead of time <coughs> that your variables is going to have to be uh, some sort of decimal. So I'm just going to just do uh, a double just for accurate for this thing. I'm going to call this thing test one, test two. Test three, and you see how I could declare this as test four, test five, okay, and semicolon. Of course, I need to do a double 
as average uh, double average variable as well. So here we go as we declared all the variables in this case with it. I can actually do average in here, same thing. Okay, and I'll, I'll take up this line either way um, will work as well with it. Okay, so I tighten up the code. So prompt the user to read in. Now you're going to have to do a CN, meaning you're going to read this in, and you're going to actually read in as test one these variables, test two. I want you to note this is a lesser than lesser than sign for stream insertion operator. So this is insertion. This is an extraction. All right, stream extraction operator. Okay, you need to know that for the exam as well. I will test you that there's a multiple choice test question, and you're going to read in all five numbers at one time. So test four, test five, and then once you get to here, you could stop semicolon and then you very important I always like to do a C out that just moves the carriage down to the next line basically NL not N1 so that's what that is NL means N line now we gotta do some sort of calculations with this thing right so I'm gonna do remember now in programming everything you're reading everything if you set an equal sign the expression to the right equals to the left so we're gonna take test 1 plus test 2 plus test 3, plus test 4, plus test 5, all that added together. And you can divide this by 5 because of the number of exams, right, and a semicolon. And then lastly, uh, what I usually do in this case, this compiler is not going to like this one I do, I always like to output what's being read in. In this case, we don't have to. It doesn't ask you to output what's being read in. So you're just going to output directly to the screen by saying C out, out means output to stream insertion operator. You're going to output what? A string saying the average of five test scores are a space, maybe a colon, and then move your cursor to the other side of that quote and you're going to put in the word average here in, in line okay so if I took this I came over to this left hand side over here so um, you want to test to see if it's output correctly you see how I just click on those check marks over here on the left hand side says there's a check and you can run check okay <clears throat> It says 100%, submit 100%. So it looks good with it. You can click on submit. And it will tell you if you, um, if you confirm, if that's what you like. I have set this to unlimited, you know, three times actually to everybody to actually to, to, to run this. So I've, I'm going to just check and to show you at the bottom left over here, you can see how things are working with it, making sure that you have everything all properly um, have you know that you have all complete all these tasks with it as well so once you've done that um, what you can do come over here and hit this play button over here it's going to ask you to please input five test scores and I'm going to do 45, 85, 95, 78 and 95 I hit enter so the average is 79.6 okay that's all I need for you to do at this time with this right now with it. So uh, once you've done that, you click on submit, and 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 you and you're done basically with it. Cool. All right. Have a good night.